Welcome to In the Pantry. I'm Chef Robbie Jester, chef of Stone Balloon, Limestone Barbecue, and Full Circle Food. Alexander from Philadelphia writes, hey, I'm missing that cheeseburger I used to eat in my favorite burger joint. How can I make a restaurant quality burger at home? Short Order is teaming up with chefs to raise money for the Food Bank of Delaware, the people on the front lines fighting food insecurity in our communities. They are needed now more than ever, and they put themselves at risk every day. Please consider donating now. Thank you. Is that your fridge? I see the beef, which is good news. Some tomatoes, I see bags of spinach in there, cheese. For the burger, start with the beef. I like an 80-20 blend. It's gonna be 80% lean meat, 20% fat. I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. Something that I love uh, is a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you wanna say it. It's gonna add a little bit of acidity. A little bit, uh, you know, there's vinegar in there. There is a note of anchovy, if you're not into that, I'm sorry. So I'm just kind of folding it on itself like this. Don't over mix it. The fat will adhere to the outside of the bowl and you won't get that fat in your, your patty. I can tell you that this is about six ounces because I've weighed enough crab cakes in my career. Uh, we'll call it seven ounce, seven ounce burger. Actually gonna even up the sides here. I want it to basically be the same thickness throughout. I like to do a seared burger. This is the only pan that I have that has the oven proof or heat proof handle so it can go into the oven. It would help if I turn the right burner on. I like onion flavor in my burger. I don't like to put it in the burger meat itself because I want my onions to be cooked. Again, just like the burgers, we want all the same thickness because we want it to cook at the same rate. We want the onions all at the same thickness as well. We got a little bit of smoke in the pan so we walked away for a few too many minutes. Then we have a little bit of uh, oil blend here. We want to season inside and outside the burger. I like plenty of cracked pepper on mine. And we're gonna place it seasoning side down. And that's the sound we're going for. We don't want anything any more high pitch, like it's an opera singer. We don't want anything lower pitch, because that means it's not hot enough to sear. I'm gonna turn my flame back up now that I got some food in the pan. I'm gonna rotate them around the hot and cold spots in the pan. We have our oven. Uh, preset to 400 degrees. We're gonna add a little pat of butter. So we're gonna add a little bit of fat back into the burger. We're gonna baste our burgers a little bit. Wonderful. I wanna add in my onions. So we have a delicious caramelized red oniony burger. And now in the oven. Buns. Doesn't matter to me which bun you choose, choose the one that's right for you. These are Hawaiian buns. I'm gonna spread that butter around. Just gonna toast our buns like so. But move the buns around a little bit. Once the faces are toasted, I like to flip them over and get a little toast on the bottom with just a little bit more butter. Beautiful. All right, so we dumped off a little bit of the, the juices and the fat from the burgers. We're gonna put a little bit into our pan right now. We're gonna throw our spinach in there. Be careful, don't do this part. Our little Parmesan or Asiago that we got in the fridge there. We're gonna spice this up with a little bit of that. We're just gonna make a little space in the pan here. We got some cheddar, which I like. I think American cheese is fire. So we're gonna put that back in the oven and melt. I like to have a little sauce on my burger. So, saw some mayonnaise in the fridge. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A tiny bit of ketchup. For anybody that goes and buys uh, the uh, ketchup or the matchup or whatever it's called in the grocery store, when you have ketchup and mayonnaise at home, please stop doing that. So finally, after all that, we're gonna build this burger. Now there's some schools of thought here, some important things, just some opinions. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna put my sauce down on the bun. Almost out to the edge. If you are going to add tomato, I would do it now. Now we're gonna season with salt and pepper. It's gonna be ooey gooey. You're gonna bite into that burger and it's just gonna drip down your chin. Beautiful melted burger. We go on top there. Now we're gonna add a little tuft of our 
cheesy spinach, onions. You can serve it with chips. You can serve it with fries. Really happy with that. Right now in our restaurants, we are doing a program called Feed the Frontline. Everybody knows that we're living in a different kind of time. The restaurants are struggling, but we are trying to do everything we can and use our resources to help feed people that are out there serving our community. Our Feed the Frontline program is in all of our restaurants, Stone Balloon, Limestone, Expectations. You can add onto your check a donation, and for every $1,000 that is donated, we are choosing a department, whether it be a police department, paramedic department. It's also supporting our restaurants and allowing us to bring people back to work. So please, if you could, Go to one of our websites, go to the restaurant, donate so we can help feed the front lines and so we can bring our people back to work. That is In the Pantry, your burger solution. Alexander, I hope that that answers all of your questions. Thank you. Have a great night. Some of our neighbors are facing much bigger food problems than just not knowing how to cook. Please consider donating to the Food Bank of Delaware today, and thank you.